Today we're diving into a common problem. Skill insert statements not working as expected. Let's troubleshoot why your insert query might be failing and how to fix it. We'll cover several potential reasons and solutions. One, syntax errors. The most frequent cause is a simple typo or incorrect syntax in your insert statement. Double check your query carefully. Make sure you have the correct number and order of columns matching the values you are providing. Remember that column names are case sensitive in some database systems like PostgreSQL, while others like MySQL might not be. Ensure your values are in the correct data type. For example, if a column expects an integer, don't try to insert a string. Always use single quotes around string literals within your values. Incorrect use of parentheses or commas can also lead to errors. If you are unsure about the proper syntax, consult the documentation for your specific database system, MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, etc. Two, data type mismatches. This is closely related to syntax errors. If you try to insert a value into a column that has a different data type, the insertion will fail. For example, inserting text into a numeric column will throw an error. Carefully examine the table schema to ensure your values match the data types of the corresponding columns. Consider using functions like cast or convert to explicitly change the data type before insertion if necessary. Three, data constraints. Database tables often have constraints such as not null, unique, check, and foreign key constraints. If your insert statement violates any of these constraints, the insertion will fail. A not null constraint means the column cannot be empty. A unique constraint ensures that no two rows have the same value in that column. A check constraint lets you define custom conditions that the data must satisfy. A foreign key constraint enforces referential integrity. The value in a foreign key column must match a value in the corresponding primary key column of another table. Review your constraints to identify and fix the cause of the failure. Four, privileges. You might lack the necessary permissions to insert data into the table. Check if your database user account has the insert privilege on the specific table. Contact your database administrator to grant you the required privileges if necessary. Five, table existence and accessibility. Verify that the table actually exists in the database and that your SQL connection is pointing to the correct database. Sometimes a simple typo in the table name can cause this issue. Six, transaction issues. If you are working within a transaction and an error occurs during the insert statement, the entire transaction might be rolled back, causing the apparent failure of the insert. Ensure proper error handling within your transaction and commit the transaction only if all statements succeed. Seven, debugging techniques. To get detailed error messages, use your database's error reporting features. This often involves checking your database client's log file or using error handling functions within your application code. Examining the error message carefully is crucial. It usually provides hints about the specific problem. If all else fails, try inserting data row by row manually through a database client to rule out application-specific issues.